Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In late April of 2023, Harvey Freebird and Good Citizen News were filming police interactions in Galveston, Texas. Sir, you're, you're literally standing in the middle of the interview scene. You mind going back over there by that police car right Put up there? tape. Stand over there. You're going to put up tape? There's a car right there. Stand over there. Are you going to put up tape? I won't ask you again. This is active. Are you going to put up tape? The supervising officer on scene now tells Officer Gardner to drop it or to put up tape. The officers continue with other tasks, but Gardner couldn't drop it and brings it back up. <laughs> Unable to let it go still, Officer Gardner is ordered to leave the scene. Yeah, Gardner needs to learn his place. No, I don't, sir. I need law. He yeah, you do. Put up tape next time. One week later, the men were filming a traffic stop with the same officer, during which the men reminded the detained person that he had the right to stay silent. Hey man, you ain't gotta answer none of them questions, dude. Ask for your lawyer, man. Hey, if you wanna keep interjecting, you I'm not interjecting, man. You keep your mouth shut. I'm not interjecting with nothing. Speaking is not interference. Speaking is not interference, man. Subsection D of the penal code. Texas Penal Code 38.15, subsection D, talking is not interfering. Gardner realizes that GCN is with the group and filming him, and despite the many people filming and talking, and others that are even closer to the scene than him, Officer Gardner places GCN under arrest. But for what, you might ask? Or what? Up. You're making a big mistake, Gardner. You just fucked up, Gardner. I'm calling me gas right now. Hey, Gardner, you're going to be with Caldwell next week. She's live. Absolutely. Yeah. You just fed up, Gardner. He is not interference. He just fed up. Hey, I'll be down there. I'll get you out. Hey, call me. You only got an officer while he's conducting a separate investigation. He is absolutely. That is not interference. Speech is not interference. Not interference, dude. Speech is not interference. Yeah, he said he just admitted speech. He just admitted speech is interference. While there are a few limited circumstances in which speech could be used as a cause for an arrest. Generally, speech is not interference. Common exceptions include speech that incites violence, defamation, obscenity, or speech that poses a direct threat to public safety. However, law enforcement typically banks on the public's ignorance of not only the law, but their rights as well. Worse yet are the officers who believe that telling a detained person that they have the right to refuse answering an officer's question is interference, but only because it stops the officer from extracting information from a person who might be oblivious of their rights. Harvey would later speak with the supervisor, who claimed it was the volume of GCN's speech that was the issue. There was a, it was brought to my attention that there may be a personal bias or, uh, you know, some kind of beef between Austin and Gardner. I watched the video we got arrested. I watched the body cam footage uh, with, you know, it had all in-call recordings and everything else with it. Going back and looking at it, um, I, I understand that Austin wasn't, necessarily hollering at Gardner, he was hollering at that other officer that was talking to you, right? Exactly. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was, it came down, it came down to volume. It wasn't the content of the speech. It wasn't the fact that he was speaking. It, it came down to the fact that the volume was such that it was interfering with communication. And that's, I mean, even in our, our First Amendment policy, I mean, it's written that way that we have to, I mean, we have to address it once it comes to a point that it's, yeah. interfering with with that communication. But the video clearly shows the officer had an issue with where he was standing and only arrested him after his refusal to move back behind gas pump 20. Or what? He would then go on to admit that the first incident between the two likely influenced the arrest. 
what happened a week before where Austin hurt Gardner's feelings, you're saying that that had a lot to do with this arrest. And I agree with you on that. Uh, I, I would, I would say in, in, in so far as like, or in the, or in the context of, um, those two having previous knowledge of each other and, and yes. Yeah. Um, but as far as it being a straight retaliatory arrest, absolutely not. Because I feel like I was being louder and I was talking more than Austin was. I'm not interjecting, man. You keep your mouth shut. I'm not interjecting with nothing. Yeah, um, you were talking more than Austin was, but you're not. You're not. Uh, your volume's naturally kind of loud. Yeah. Fine, which is which is fine, and your voice carries. Yeah. Uh, but it was. A, it's not a. It wasn't at a point where it was preventing that in interfering with that communication. The last time we talked. We talked about how speech cannot be interference, and now it seems like you've changed your tone on that. The whole thing is, is it prevented the communication. Had that not have prevented communication between the driver and the officer, it never would have been an issue. Right behind. Go behind behind right now. If you want to put up, put it up. Well, let me ask you this, Lieutenant Mia. So when we're out there and we're filming and we're using our First Amendment, or say we're protesting, or we're telling the driver what his rights are. How do we know if we're being too loud or not? I mean, how did Gardner, how did Gardner come to the cl conclusion? Does he have a decibel reader in his pocket? I mean, I'm just, I'm really confused, man. I don't want to make the same mistake. I don't want to get arrested. So I'm trying to figure out how this does not happen again. Uh, as long, I would say, as long as it's not interfering with his ability to hear the driver and the driver's ability to hear the officer. I think, you're, I think you'd be fine. The lieutenant's proposal creates a slippery slope. If your speech is arbitrarily determined to be too loud, they believe they can arrest you. On Saturday, May 13th, they returned to the streets to protest GCN's arrest. Harvey carried a sign that read, Free speech is whispering. Protesting too loudly is a crime. While on scene of a stop with his arresting officer, a small wedding party came out of their home to see what was going on, and Harvey talked with one of the men to let them know why they were there. They arrested this man last the other night for talking too loud. So I'm just letting everybody know that free speech means whispering. Protesting too loud is a crime. Yeah. They've now found Officer Gardner, the man who arrested GCN previously. Hey, Gardner. What's up, Gardner? Am I too loud? Am I too loud? Am I too loud? GCN then tells Officer Gardner how he feels, and of all people, the sergeant on scene places him under arrest for his speech. Yeah, I got some more for you. I got plenty more for you. Thank you, Gardner. For what? Cursing. Cursing? Oh my god. This is bull. Take my phone, Harvey. Who said he's offended? You said that? The sergeant has now arrested GCN for disorderly conduct for using profanity. Given the officer's history with these two men, it could and probably will be argued that this disorderly conduct charge is being used in retaliation, especially as now there is no complainant claiming that they're offended or that there has been a general breach of the peace. And now, only after arresting GCN, the officer attempts to find probable cause by soliciting the bystanders, hoping that one of them might have been offended by the word. Who's offended? He said no. He said no. Hey, he said no. Let him go. He said no. Hey, you're trying to solicit what you're doing. You're trying to solicit. I will. You're soliciting a crime. I did not. Yeah, you did. Let him go. Thank you, bro. I will not black the blue. Hey, you back that's why we're protesting. Now, after losing support of the general public, the officer had no choice but to release GCN. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. It was solicited. Let him go. The guy said he did not offend him. Let him go. The guy said he was not offended. Let him go right now. What you did is solicited a crime. Yeah, you did. I got it on video. You went off his reaction? You didn't ask him first? He uh, he arrested you, then asked. F you, McNeil. F you, Gardner. F you, cops. Yeah. Go wonder why f***ing good cops get shots? Because of actions like this. Yeah. Oh, my f*** you. Piece of I am, you dumb f***. 
You just illegally fucking arrested me. That's another lawsuit. You think I'm fucking happy about it? Name and badge number. We need his name we and badge. We need everybody's number. name and badge number. We need his name and badge number. He's running off. He don't even got plate lights. Why don't you give him a ticket? What's his name and badge number? His name's McNeil. McNeil. Hey, go talk to the guy he tried to solicit, bro. The officers fled the scene in a hurry, but a few hours later, the sergeant saw the men and stopped in the middle of the street to talk to them. So I reacted on that. Okay. And then once uh, he said, no, 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 that's, that's not how I reacted, I said, okay. The man's initial reaction was not caught on any footage that we have available. It may be on body cam, but for now, we can see that not only did the man appear completely calm and spoke out against the unlawful arrest, it also shows that the sergeant attempted to have one of the women claim that they were offended by a word as well. I wanted to prevent anything further from going further from that. So I that's, that's, that's where I reacted from. I wanted yeah. to make sure. Like, well, I mean, I'm not out here looking for y'all. I'm not out here trying. Well, see, that's I'm not gunning for you. I got arrested last no. weekend. I, I got you. I got happened. you. So okay. that's where we're, we're at. We're at the point where there's there's no return for any niceness. No, no, no. I, I got I get it. I know. I'm to the point. And I'm not. I'm not trying to yeah. sit there and try I, to like. See, I got arrested for speech last weekend, and then you can throw me in the back of the cop car for speech this weekend, which is constitutionally protected. Both. Instances. Well, no, no. What well, the, the immediate breach of the peace, his reaction. No. That's the crazy crap that's, is. That's not a breach. He get arrested for obstructing sidewalks, yeah. and these guys are parking in the middle. Of the hey, what's your badge number, Miguel? Whatever the fuck they want. Cool. Well, I appreciate you coming up and talking to me. I just wanted to explain all that. Everything. What you did was garbage, bro. It's, it's, I'm not, I'm not out now. gunning for you. That was some no, garbage like ass that. shit, I dude. went off of that guy's reaction. Then he recanted it, so I had to recant her. Okay. okay. Recanted right. his reaction? Right. Sorry? He recanted his reaction? Well, yeah, he said... He he, he what, never said he anything, reacted? dude. No, and then you went and tried to solicit it from the woman. That was no, some garbage said, ass shit, dude. Said, Your you excuses you ain't worth Dude, that was garbage, dude. We got it all on film. And of course, for further context, all of this shadows Harvey Freebird's arrest for telling an officer that he dropped his pocket. Hey, you dropped your pocket. You dropped it. Behind you. Right there, you almost stepped on it. What am I using? Your pocket. Your right pocket. Right behind your foot. I don't know what you're talking about. You dropped it. What did I drop? Your pocket. Hey, sir. I already picked it up from the truck. Hey, sir. You got it. Can you get out of the media? As usual, all of these videos will be linked in the comments down below if you'd like to watch the rest of them, as well as a link to GCN's channel. Don't forget to let me know what you think of this department in the comments, and tell Harvey and GCN that I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe and hit the bell for future content, and check out our other channels, Lady Lackluster and The Odd Side. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment about what you think of this interaction. It's the easiest way for you to help expose corruption and misconduct. Merchandise is available using the links below. Join the Lackluster family for just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel. Get a Lack logo next to your name, custom emotes, and early access to videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All links are down below.